I am amazed how we've had kids get on the plate before and jump. Me look at the results going, holy cow, Lucy, what is going here? J- jump again. Let's let's maybe the plate, let's unplug it, plug it back in, you know, maybe something and then do it again and be like, holy, what is going on? And then you find out that, you know, they had a massive AP chem test that day and they got like three hours of sleep and they think their boyfriend wants to break up with them and da, 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 and like the weight of the world is coming crashing down. And like you said, they're not ready to train. They're exhausted. So to get them off the plate and be pissed at them and be like, well, go, we're deadlifting heavy then today. Let's get after it. It It's probably the worst thing that they could possibly use or possibly need in which to to actually get better. They probably need some recovery and a a nice nap and early bedtime. It's been eye opening on how the mental and I guess emotional piece will fall into the the physical. I, I hear you. Definitely hard to do with a group, big groups. That you're working with it's time consuming to jump everybody and then see where they're at and then give them b workout instead of a workout it's it's tough to do but i think there's some validity to it 